Ahoy there, Captain Jack Spare Ribs here, Mainers back on the ship. We're here at the Riverside County Fair, the National Date Festival. We've got one more show to go out of 30 just about. During this break, I'm gonna show some people a little rope trick called threading the needle. Stick around, I'm gonna show you the secret, and at the very end, I'm gonna show you a different version that makes it even more impressive. Magic Secrets. That's right, it's Magic Secrets. Tricks so easy, a monkey could do them. Hey buddy, watch it! How long do you think it would take me to thread that needle with this piece of thread? One second, pretty quick, right? What if, what if we made it smaller? How long now? Couple, couple of seconds, seconds. couple of seconds, uh, okay. Maybe five. Gotta, uh, <laughs> you gotta, do that, like, it's better with thread, but you know how you gotta do that with thread and get it through? What if it was even smaller? Like a real needle. Forever. <laughs> Forever? Forever. Forever. The watch! <laughs> Whoop! Oh. This is the trick I'm gonna show everyone. It's called threading the needle. You wrap the rope around your thumb three times. You end up with a little loop of rope. You say, look, it looks like the eye of a needle. You take the end of the rope from over here. You ask how long it will take to thread that through. Not very long, they say. Well, what if we made the hole smaller? It would take even longer, right? Of course it would. What if we made it really small? Why, that would be very difficult. You end up making it really small to the point where it looks like it would be almost impossible to get the rope through. But watch this. It goes straight through. That's what the trick looks like. One minute. You don't think I can get it through there? Watch. There it goes. I just threw it straight through. So here's the secret. You wrap the rope three times around your thumb. You show it to him with the loose end hanging down to the right. Each time you pull it, it makes it a little smaller. The last time you go to make it even smaller, you actually flip the loop around so there's an opening right underneath that fold. You then take the other end. Of course, you talk about threading it through the loop. You pull the loop down one more time, very small. This time, when you put it through, you're not, of course, putting it through the hole. You're pulling it around the side, and it looks like it pops up through the hole, but really it's coming from this side. No one notices that when you take it out, you've lost one of your three loops. And when I pull it down, it gets smaller and smaller. The last time I pull, I actually do this, and I say I'm gonna make it smaller. While I'm doing this, I turn it around. The reason for that is, can you see from the back side? Yeah. What I do is I take the end, and I move it around my thumb very quickly, and it goes through it underneath and around. And if you're looking really close, you'll notice I lose one of my there's an alternate version of the trick where you tie a knot in the rope. Wait a minute, wait a minute, let's do it again. This time, have you ever seen what happens when you all of a sudden, you know, you, you get it threaded, but then you realize, oh no, there's a knot. And you can't get it through the rest of the way. Watch, let's make that the thread. I wind this around really tight. Ready, watch this. Now that's, a, that's pretty big. You see that? Here we go. That's pretty big, and I could probably get that through there. It would take a little while, right? But that knot, do you think that knot would ever fit through there? No way. Well, until it's almost impossible to even put the rope through, let alone a knot. But look at this, right through. Ahoy there. Don't forget, it's Tricky Tuesday. Every single week, we learn new magic and stunts. So if you like the video, click like. Subscribe and hit the bell so you find out about the videos when they get put up.